First, let me start by congratulating Ceres and the Sustainability Institute for their important joint report outlining the economic risks and opportunities of the climate crisis. Ceres has done incredible work over the last 30 years rallying top investors and companies and making the pure business case for climate action and sustainability. I want to also recognize the PE firms and limited partners who are participating in this important work. The report is a good step toward giving private equity leaders the insights and recommendations they need to realize the investment opportunities presented by the transition to a zero emissions economy. And the net zero transition will be the greatest market transformation since the Industrial Revolution and an incredible opportunity for those who take early action. With trillions of dollars needed to finance this transition over the coming decade, private equity clearly has an enormously important role to play. It has a chance to step up. But as the report makes clear, the overall private equity industry is currently behind the pace of change toward a clean economy. And those of you in the room today have a once in a generation chance to lead on this issue and to seize the economic opportunity of this moment. Your work is essential to moving the private equity industry to act now. And we have to embrace climate action over this decade and significantly in order to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions of portfolio companies. Systemic risks and opportunities posed by the climate crisis must be incorporated into investment strategies. And climate-related disclosure must be embraced by private and public companies alike. So I encourage all of you and every financial institution to lay out an ambitious climate action plan, including specific targets year on year to align investments with net zero emissions. Let me say a word about this challenge for a moment. We've been at this a long time, and the scientists have been very clear to us that we have about 12 years, nine years now, because of the time when they made the announcement, in order to make the most important decisions and implement them to avoid the worst damage of the climate crisis. The fact is, we are way behind where we were in our intentions in Paris, and we're headed to absolutely catastrophic increases in the Earth's temperature. So we need to innovate. We need entrepreneurial activity in extraordinary levels in order to be able to push the curve of innovation and discovery. We need certain developed technologies to come to scale in order to get out into the marketplace, but we also need to discover some things we don't yet know how to do. Science makes very clear to us that the 2020s, 2020 to 2030, is the decisive decade. If we don't do enough reductions in the course of these next 10 years, we cannot hold on to the hope of limiting the Earth's temperature increase to 1.5 degrees, and we even cannot achieve net zero by 2050. This is the decisive decade. So I urge you, put the pedal to the metal with this uh, series working group and accelerate climate action through private equity. Thank you.